trying to play some roulette to be honest your boy Drizzy Drake has money to burn, just dropping 85 million on a new Beverly Hills pad. Now that's a giant win, but he also took a huge quarter of a million dollar loss after the latest UFC fight. And then he got called out to, by one of the guys from the fight who was pretty upset. Listen to what Colby Covington had to say. Let's talk about all the, the money that Drake lost tonight. He needs to go back to, you know, selling those shitty albums to get back the money. He no, it's not all bad news is Drake, well, he's partnered with the betting site Stakes, so the certified lover boy well he probably been betting somebody else's money now he's also got a stalker who uh who's threatening to kill him or to have him kill himself which is very crazy lots of drizzy news so stay tuned to this episode of famous news this is my oh no you still didn't like me you shot me just send the location number one my calling is to be the leader of the free world UFC 272, it was an epic night for entertainment with star fighters and even more stars at the event. It all took place at T-Mobile Arena out in Las Vegas. There, there was Jared Leto, Halle Berry, Steve-O, Shania Twain, and uh, all of them were in attendance, being very public, but none of them sharing what they were betting. That is, except for our boy, Drizzy Drake. Now, he did this in a collab with the crypto betting site, Stake, and for the most part, well, he's been having some pretty unbelievable wins on the site. But his bet for the latest UFC fight it did go his way with Colby Covington taking home big W with a unanimous decision win. Now the fighter he knew money was bet against him by Drake so when he was done and doing the press conference well he wasn't really talking about his opponent instead he seemed more pissed at Drake who uh who bet against him. He stated let's talk about all the money that Drake lost tonight. He needs to go back to you know selling those shitty albums to get back the money. Then a few seconds later well he actually went ahead and said the same thing again. He was really upset. Drake you suck at sports betting go back to your shitty little albums and rapping <laughs> oh, i find it funny drake's got more money on his ring than a lot of these fighters maybe not you know uh colby maybe not anymore but still like you know now all these call outs they might have hurt drake's feelings but i doubt it hurt his wallet now with a sponsorship working with stake well he's probably given a budget to gamble with or at least he's paid to be a promoter for this site now he's also made the news multiple times this past week one for buying a new beverly hills mansion and that thing's worth 85 million dollars of course we'll be dropping a house tour video over on the channel hosted by my wife that one's titled famous entertainment and then in more disturbing news well he's actually got a stalker who's trying to sue drake for four billion dollars i don't know how that works but uh drake's actually saying in his lawsuit against her that she's causing him emotional distress he's now a father you know and he's traveling a lot who knows where she could pop up so uh I i'm sure he had to throw a few bucks against that but uh he won't have to spend four billion dollars because the woman is absolutely cray cray anyways we're gonna wrap up this video here uh I i'm moving houses right now so i might miss a day or two this week but typically i'm here monday through friday and i'll see you guys in another famous news video